How have you found the transition into some more senior events this year? Um, for me, it's actually I played yeah I played juniors for uh, the first six months of the year. I went to played Wimbledon, qualified there, and got my ranking up to the top 60, which was good for me. So um, yeah, it was good. And now it's just yeah just trying to get as many matches as I can on the senior circuit. And it's been a little bit tough, but I'm enjoying it. And I'm just playing qualies every week unless I get a wild card. So it's been good, but. It's, it's tough though. Okay, what, what is tough specifically about it? What do you find the differences between the juniors oh, and the seniors? I'd say just like the, the seniors like more experienced, they've been on the circuit so um, they're just more professional out on court so you're going to get a lot more balls back, their balls are a lot heavier with a lot more spin so I, I just say that and that they're just mentally tougher as well so um, yeah but it's good, it's a good experience. So. Are you finding you're developing those weapons yourself for the mental toughness and the heavier balls and things that are needed for senior tennis? Uh, yeah I think I am like just playing, going out there playing week after week especially with the Australian Pro Circuit and you go out and you get to train with Sasha Jones, Ash Barty, Olivia Rogowska so even just practicing with them I feel like I've improved a lot like out of sight and yeah I'm developing those weapons so yeah. Fantastic. What was the experience like for you playing at Wimbledon? Uh, it was amazing. Like at the start of the year, I that, that was just a dream. If I was going to play Wimbledon, I was just, someone said that to me that in six months you're going to play Wimbledon, and I would just be like, you're joking. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really good, and because I qualified, it made it even more special. I like out at Roehampton, and yeah, and then qualified, and then I played yeah a really good match first round. Unfortunately, I went down, but it was a good match, and it was amazing. So. Great, yeah. good experience. Yeah. Um, and how would you kind of assess the state of your game heading into, into Terrelga? Um, I think I'm hitting the ball really well. I'm feeling really confident out on court and I'm moving well and everything just feels really good at the moment. So it's just about yeah, just reducing the load and just getting ready to play matches. So I'm really excited. I got a wild card into Terrelga. So I'm um, yeah, looking forward to playing Tuesday or Wednesday. So. Fantastic. Yeah. And the December showdown's coming up for you after that. Uh, will you play in the 18s as well? As uh, I think so, play? yeah. So yeah. I'm 18, so this is my last year at 18. So I think I'll yeah play 18s nationals, hopefully get a few matches in before AO playoffs. So, what kind yeah. of um, benefit do you get out of the December showdown? Do you find it really positions you well for a strong two, like year after that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think December showdown is really good because you've got everyone from Australia coming. You've got 12s, 14s, 16s, 18s, AO playoff. And I know when I was younger, just coming and playing when I was like 12 and under, you come and watch the AO playoff players and you get so much inspiration and motivation from them and I think playing on the Australian Open surface and everything, it just sets you up for a good start to the year in January. So, Speaking of that kind of group environment where everyone comes, what has this week been like for you to have all the girls around rather than training individually? Yeah, it's actually been really fun, like we just played at doubles, just doubles <laughs> then and that was really good, we don't really get to play doubles a lot. and. We've had everyone out on the courts this week, so it's been a really good atmosphere and a really good environment. It just makes you want to train harder, and yeah, so it's been really good.